Hi, everybody. This is Carl Freund, Cambrian AI Research. Uh, today, I have a special guest from Synopsys joining us. Uh, Shankar Krishnamurthy is the general manager of the EDA Tools team at, at Synopsys, and we're going to talk a little bit about what you guys are doing in AI. So welcome to the show. Hi, Carl. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. So um, at, 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 at Snug, there's going to be a lot of talk about what's happening with AI. And um, I thought we could just do this quick video to help people kind of get the lay of land of what it is you're doing with AI in EDA tools and um, what's new uh, on, on the horizon. Why don't we just start at a high level, okay? Sure. Um, at a high level. Um, what problem are you trying to solve here uh, with, a with AI? You know, Carl, so uh, the problem we are trying to solve is one of design productivity. So I want to draw your attention to a report from the Boston Consulting Group that's actually on the uh, Semiconductor Industry Association website, which talks about the fact that by the year 2030, we are going to be more than 23,000 engineers short in the semiconductor industry to fully realize the ambitions of semiconductor companies. And that shortfall is coming because as we go from one generation to the next, the design complexity, the process complexity is all causing a significant increase in engineering effort. And the total num amount of talent that's available in semiconductor companies is falling short of the total effort that's needed to execute these large and complex programs. So there's a big gap between the aspiration in terms of the design and process complexity and the reality in terms of the talent available. And that gap is really causing uh, semiconductor executives everywhere to look at the productivity of their engineering teams because they're not going to be able to close that gap by just hiring more people because there's just not enough uh, talented uh, engineers out there to fill that gap. So this is really causing a productivity crisis uh, in terms of design and is a great opportunity to apply disruptive technologies like AI to really close that gap and help semiconductor uh, companies achieve their ambitions. Wow, interesting, that's, that's a huge gap, I had no idea. Um, and of course, if you try to solve that, which is hiring en engineers out of college, they're green, uh, they're not gonna have the skills and experience to be able to, uh, to, to contribute at the level you need to have to have them contribute, mm -hmm. that's interesting. Mm -hmm. This really complements their their skills. So, what what do EDA designers need to address this gap? You know, so this is really where uh, AI can make a huge impact with respect to helping close this gap, right? And when we say close the gap, it is really augmenting uh, the engineer's inherent uh, ability with AI to produce significantly better results. And for uh, new engineers that join the workforce to help them to deliver expert quality results with the augmentation of AI. So Synopsys, as you know, has been a pioneer in applying AI to EDA with the introduction of DSO.AI, which, uh, which you covered uh, more than two years ago. And what we are seeing is as the industry is rapidly adopting uh, technologies like DSO, uh, the whole mindset is evolving to using AI as an assistant to significantly reduce the effort needed uh, to deliver these designs uh, for their uh, the timely schedules. Because you know the time to market windows uh, is, are really shrinking. It's not even like uh, the same, it's actually reducing because of the competitive landscape that's uh, around most of our uh, semiconductor customers. And so if your time to market is, uh, window is shrinking and you've got a talent pool that uh, needs to do more, then engineering teams are rapidly adopting these types of methods to be able to close that that uh, uh, gap in productivity that needs to be overcome. Interesting, interesting. So why is AI the right solution? What is AI, what does AI really bring to the party? You know, so uh, so uh, methods like uh, AI, right? With, like for for example, specifically reinforcement learning, helps you to take uh, a design flow and really be able to automate the exploration of the design space very very efficiently. If you look at what an expert engineer does when they work on a design, they are really exploring a space of uh, options, a space of parameters, a space of changes that they can apply to the design in order to achieve its target goals. So what AI does is really enable that rapid exploration of a very large design space very efficiently 
thereby taking away some of the manual effort needed in terms of doing that exploration quickly. And especially if you are a, a new and upcoming engineer that may not be fully familiar with all the uh, options that are available to explore, AI does the automation of that exploration for you, thereby enabling expert quality results without necessarily needing that engineer to spend several years building up that expertise as well. Interesting. Now, I noticed you had you had some announcements in, in January that I covered about the progress you've made with DSO. Can you recap that for us uh, briefly? Sure. I mean, we are really thrilled with uh, the pace at which uh, DSO.ai is being adopted by the industry. Uh, we basically announced in January that we had crossed 100 production designs with DSO, which was a very important milestone that we wanted to share with the industry. And we had customers like ST Microelectronics, uh, SK Hynix, Microsoft all join us in that very important announcement. And just to give you a sense of the, the pace and velocity with which this technology is being embraced by our customers, uh, just last week we just crossed 160 uh, production designs. So it's really rapidly uh, shooting up in terms of how ra uh, quickly our customers are embracing these types of methods in order to address that, that gap in terms of uh, productivity. Wow, that's an exponential growth. That's uh, that's very impressive. So I get the feeling that uh, in the in the not too distant future, anybody who's doing EDA without AI is going to be left behind. Um, they're they're not going to be able. Yeah, to it's, it's it's a great assistant, right? I mean, if you're an expert designer, it's it's an assistant that's helping you do that exploration for you. And if you're a new and upcoming designer, then it's a uh, tool that is really helping you to deliver that expert quality results. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And some of the results were, you know, lower power, low, smaller area, higher performance. I mean, what's not exactly. to like? Exactly. <laughs> all, exactly. All three, <laughs> of the P, all three letters of the PPA. That's uh, very, exactly. Exactly. Very... And you know, we, we ourselves are surprised by some of the gains that this AI technology is delivering in terms of PPA, right? Because I think yeah. um, the ability to explore that very large uh, solution space efficiently uh, helps the AI engine to find solutions that uh, may not necessarily be found in a fixed amount of time, even by an expert engineer uh, who is always time constrained in terms of that exploration. Yeah, my last conversations with, uh, with Art, he had uh, pretty grand visions of how, mm -hmm. uh, how rapidly Synopsys would be able to embrace AI and mm -hmm. fundamentally change or augment the, the EDA de, uh, design flow. What's what's coming next? What what do you have? Uh, what do you have for us? Yeah, so we are really excited uh, to uh, really announce what we call a Synopsys.ai, uh, which is really the next evolution of our AI direction. Uh, so as you know, you know the EDA software stack. Uh, stretches all the way from architecture exploration through design, verification, test, sign-off, uh, all the way through manufacturing. And just like we demonstrated with design, there's an opportunity to apply AI at every element of this EDA software stack in order to improve PPA, improve productivity, improve yield. And so what Synopsys.ai is really a suite of uh, AI technologies where we have applied AI across that entire end-to-end -end EDA uh, software stack, which Synopsys is uniquely positioned to deliver because of the breadth of our portfolio in order to make a dramatic improvement, not just in design, as you saw with DSO, but in areas like verification, areas like test, uh, areas like analog circuit design, uh, areas like manufacturing. So we are able to really bring a much broader impact of AI across the full EDA software stack. Wow, that's interesting. So do you have any early results of people using uh, early uh, versions of Synopsys.ai? Yes, in fact, uh, we've been engaging with customers uh, over the past 12 months on many of these uh, technologies. So for example, in the verification space, uh, as you know, uh, the amount of coverage you achieve for the design under test, as well as the time to coverage and the total uh, compute footprint to achieve that coverage are all very important metrics. And so with the application of AI to verification, we are seeing uh, dramatic improvements in terms of the time to attain the coverage, uh, increased coverage, as well as the total compute cycles needed to achieve the coverage, uh, which augments that traditional constrained random approach uh, that already exists. Um, in the area of test, for example, uh, an ATPG, uh, by applying AI to ATPG, we are seeing a significant reduction in pattern counts, which as you know, is very important 
because the time on the tester is directly proportional to how many patterns you're applying. And so by reducing the pattern count, the cost of test is being significantly impacted, and we are also able to attain uh, higher coverage. Um, in an area like, very important area like analog circuit design, where productivity is something that analog circuit designers uh, crave a lot, uh, we are showing that AI can be used to automatically migrate analog circuits from one node to another and optimize them with a high level of automation, something that has not been done up to this point and which promises to help customers rapidly move from node to node, especially on the analog side, which is always the long pole. Uh, compared to the digital side where there's a lot more automation. So these are all examples of how the application of AI across the entire stack uh, promises to be a very disruptive force, uh, just like we demonstrated it on the digital implementation side with uh, DSO.ai. Well, that's that's amazing. That's fantastic. I look forward to uh, talking with some of your users at Snug about this and get their impressions of uh, what you're doing and how they're going to be able to improve their productivity improve their products uh, through the use of AI and EDA. Well, uh, thank you very much, Shankar. It's a fascinating subject. And uh, you guys are- Thank you, Carl. Thank you. you and we, we, we look forward uh, to seeing all our users at uh, Snug and uh, really to hear firsthand from our customers their experience with uh, this whole notion of applying e uh, AI across the entire EDA stack and to learn more about our exciting new synopsis.ai direction. Exciting. Thank you. I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, attending. This will be my first snug. So I look, I look forward to hearing directly from your customers as well as other members of the Synopsis team about what's going Absolutely. on. Absolutely. I'll awesome. look out for you on the snug floor. I'll, I'll find you. I'll find you. All right. Thanks okay. for your time today. Take care now. Bye-bye. Take care, Carl. See ya. Bye-bye.